Welcome back everyone, Kony is here. Today I'm flying an Italian military jet trainer and light attack aircraft. Uh, it's made by Aramachi. It's an MB339A. I'm actually flying the PAN version, which is the aerobatic version. So let's go ahead and see if we can fly this thing. I've had some trouble, but uh, let's see if this will work. Take the parking brake off and let's start going. I'm going to go ahead and go full throttle. I'm supposed to be able to handle that okay. And then rudder is going to be critical here. And then there's a little yellow line on the sp speed indicator, which indicates when you can nose up. Okay, so we have just taken off from Concord Airport, Concord, California, or Buchanan Airport. Heading towards Oakland International Airport. Concord Tower KMX Ray Tree continue for south departure. Now I'm not used to the instruments, so I'm gonna fly some of the time uh, outside just because I Concord need to be able to leave them quickly. But I thought what I would do is see how fast I can go and then head over into the San Francisco area and try some aerobatic maneuvers. My experience Fox flying simulated jet fighters comes from Grand Theft Auto. The one there is pretty much nerfed, but this one feels surprisingly like it, so it's very familiar. I have a lot of experience doing aerobatic sort of stuff uh, with the GTA jet. Of course, that's not intended to be you know, simulation, it's just intended to be a game. So I'm in the lower cockpit. Behind me is the upper cockpit with the co-pilot. It doesn't appear that you can occupy that seat. I think if I... yeah, you can see him in the back. Okay, so I'm trying to head in the general direction of San Francisco. I don't know if I... how easy it'll be to find it from the air. It should be straightforward. Well, maybe I've already passed it. This thing goes so fast before you know it, you're... Yeah, I'm actually already north of it, over at Richmond. Already at 12,000 feet. Oh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. Alright, well, let's head over there. See the Bay Bridge on the left? Okay, now this, this thing is made for acrobatics, so it should be no problem to fly upside down. Now it's not so impressive when you're outside. If you go inside though, it should be no problem to fly upside down if you want to. You have to push pretty hard on the stick, but that's working just fine. Um, all the controls work exactly the same upside down. You don't have to do anything different, just get used to the fact that the ground is above you. Alright, sorry if that's making people a little seasick, but such is the nature of aerobatics, I suppose. I should be able to do a back somersault 360 without any trouble. high enough that I'm not going to hit anything. Okay, now see how fast are we going? 300? That's not bad. This thing is really designed for performance. It seems like I 
not able to overtax it. I don't really see any skyscrapers in San Francisco. I don't know if they've got something there or if you have to purchase an upgrade to see all that. I haven't seen one for sale. Anywhere, there's the, uh, there's the Golden Gate. Alright, heading into San Francisco proper. Again, I don't really see any evidence of skyscrapers or anything. It's kind of unfortunate. Maybe if I get closer to the ground. Okay, something's starting to show up now. Nothing like I would expect if it was done properly. Uh, for instance, there should be an enormous Salesforce tower somewhere around here. Yeah, it kind of almost seems like San Francisco missed out on the US update, maybe because there's a company planning to come out with something. Alright, so there's the old section of the Bay Bridge to my left, and then the brand new section ahead of us that was replaced after the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake and the collapse. Stayed in operation for years and years and was only out of operation maybe in the last few years. There was controversy about the inexpensive steel used in the bridge, in the new bridge, and whether or not it's going to last. Alright, so we're kind of flying over the Oakland area now, I believe. Berkeley, Oakland. Not seeing a lot of detail on all the buildings. Um, I might need to dial up my graphics a little bit. After the recent reinstall, uh, it actually stopped working so I had to reinstall it. Um, it preset the graphics to Ultra, uh, just all standard Ultra settings. So that's what I'm on now. It looks pretty good, but I would like a little bit more detail. Just can't really see much below us. Uh, pretty high off the ground, so that could be part of that. Alright, so these must be the East Bay Hills. I'm gonna head to kind of the direction of the South Bay. We're supposed to be landing at Oakland Airport, which is right there. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. The game seems to be doing a lot of stuttering. Tremendous amount of stuttering for some reason. Okay, it's gotten better. I, it must have been downloading caching stuff. And then I see somebody had flying a little Cessna. Yeah, after having flown this airplane a few times, I must say I really love it. It's uh, very difficult to fly at first, but it seems very reliable. If you want to fly upside down, you just do it. You have to push forward on the stick to keep it from nose diving. Uh, well, that's a little hard to do from the outside. I think I can do that better from the inside. We have some better references, and so yeah, pushing hard on the stick, and trying to level off. I should actually be able to go forward and push up and over, I think. We'll see what happens. I don't know if we're going to stall or start spinning out or something. No, look how stable that is. Wow. That was no problem at all. It is the acrobatic version, so you'd expect that to work really well. but. I'm no expert at flying aerobatic vehicles.
you know, you're turning, you might as well just, eh, why don't I just go upside down? Why not? Right. Alright, so we're supposed to be landing there. I haven't um, done a landing of this yet, I think. I think they'll let, let the co-pilot do it, so I think I will give that a try. Okay, I'm going to pull back on this. And so we're going to need to slow down pretty significantly, so I'm going to start doing that. Um, I'm going to back up here and let's, in fact, go outside. Put the flaps down. It's way too early to be putting the flaps down, probably. I don't know. Seems to be okay. It's going to slow us down. The uh, landing gear is going to slow us down. I'm going to dial back on the throttle quite a bit. Alright, we are dropping speed precipitously. And we're actually very high, so I need to drop some altitude. Actually, I have quite a bit of altitude now that I look at it. We ought to be able to just head straight down like this, I think. I don't know if I overstress the flaps by putting them down ahead of that white line on the ticker tape. Yeah, it was really easy to get pretty high up in the air before I realized how high I was. Alright, so there's the Bay Bridge again. There's San Francisco looking... It's kind of barren from this point of view. I don't know if you're really supposed to stress the plane that much. I can always just... Deselect it and reselect it to get a new one, I think. But, uh, I think it's doing okay. Okay, now the airport below is not Oakland. That's the old um, Alameda Naval Air Station where Mythbusters did a lot of their outdoor stuff. But it looks like we can just sort of glide right into this landing pattern. I have not landed this one yet, like I said, so we'll see what that's like. Obviously I'm going to need to be slowing a lot down, but that's still uh, altitude drop. In fact, we're going to level off here a little bit. And you could try to land from the inside. I don't, I don't have the Garmin for the ground reference but I can give that a shot. Um, I still have trouble reading the instruments, and so that's something I'm going to have to get used to. I know where they are, I can read them if I study them, but I can't read them quickly. So I'll just go outside for that reference. Ah, so we're now in proper speed range. I'm going to give it some thrust so we don't use any more speed. Okay, so I think our speed seems to be stable. Just, uh, we'll just enter the pattern and hang to the right. Okay, speed, is that too fast, too slow? It's probably a little bit too fast, maybe. That's all right. The Garmin, when, uh, when I've got that in an airplane, essentially has the equivalent of these on-screen instruments, so it's, you know, just that's what I'm used to. I need to get used to the instruments in this aircraft. 
Okay, it says 119 airspeed, and so that's going to be this. But it's difficult for me to know how to read that. Too fast, okay. Let's go back outside. Oh, 130, okay, yeah, that's definitely too fast. Let's go back on the throttle. Pull up a little bit of the stick. Okay, he's got to find that balance between going too fast and dropping into the water. So I'm giving it some more thrust here. It's still going a little bit too slow for my taste. Okay, go back inside until I see it turn red again. It'll tell us either way, too fast or too slow. Surprisingly quiet inside given that we're riding on a jet engine. Okay, this all seems very stable. Kind of settled on a speed. Might be going up a little bit. Should pull back on the throttle a little bit. Okay, so as we're going into this turn, maybe I'll try to go sub 110, maybe 105 in that range. Continuing to pull back on the thrust a little bit, try to dial it down, try to get it closer to 100. to make our turn here. Watching that speed very carefully. Yep, definitely too slow. Okay, I think for the final approach I will go inside. That's the most realistic. I think I can kind of figure out where I'm at. Um, don't really have a good sense of my speed, but let's see. It's 105, okay. Looks like it's something like that on the little indicator there. I think we're okay floating wise here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop throttle all the way now. Um, nose down a little bit to see where I'm at, but I think we're okay. I just need to float and float and float. No idea where the actual cockpit, I mean the runway is, but I was lined up with it, so. Oh wow, okay, that was very, a very rough landing.
very rough landing. So probably will replace the plane. See, I didn't know how close I was to the ground and I misjudged and thought that I was coming into a nice soft final drop in. And then we landed and bounced around a bunch. I didn't hear the wings hit the ground, but certainly it could have. Uh, let's see, where am I supposed to go? Turn here. KM X ray three contact ground on one two one decimal seven five. All right, so one two one decimal seven five KM X ray three parking brake on. Uh, let's see, so I want ground, taxi to parking. Oakland ground, KMX ray tree taxi to parking. Now this is a hardened version for aerobatic, so maybe the landing is okay, but I don't think anybody would feel particularly good about it. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking by Taxiway Whiskey Tree Uniform Tango Bravo Romeo Bravo Cross Runway 28 Left Bravo Alpha Charlie KMX Ray Tree. There's something interesting which is normally the co-pilot isn't actually in the plane, so you hear the audio going into the radio, uh, but you don't also hear the co-pilot's voice, but because the co-pilot's actually in the plane behind me, I'm hearing his voice acoustically as well as the radio feed at the same time. I can hear, you know, hear it twice. The realism there, I guess, is kind of interesting. KMX Tree, hold position, caution, other traffic. All right, Ooh, nice brakes. This thing has really, really nice brakes. Hold position, KMX Tree. And I can see something over there, Southwest Airlines. Jetfighter lets you uh, pop out of it and go anywhere with the inside camera, which is a little interesting. Oh, is he coming my way? Maybe I need to move out of the way? Hmm. <laughs> All they said was hold. Oh, he's turning. Okay, good. Be nice if it knew it was Southwest and would put a Southwest livery on the plane. That would make the realism kind of spectacular. All right, pretty sure they're going to let us go now. I hadn't actually put on the parking brake. Okay. So again, this is the aerobatic version. The regular military trainer version of the plane, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know. I'm just, it's probably a startup sequence that's mandatory that I don't know how to do. I tried to look up online. I saw some videos showing how to do it. Still, I'll need to watch one of those, but I couldn't find any written instructions. So this is the Oakland International Airport. I lived in Oakland until 2018. Now I live in Pittsburgh, California, which is near Concord, where I fly out of Buchanan Airfield.
taxi ribbon is often uh, put through vehicles and things, which is interesting. But anyway, I can find my way around. I'm not sure exactly what I'm hearing. It sounds like maybe somebody's doing some kind of their own uh, aerobatics or something. Or maybe I'm just hearing reflections off the surfaces of my jet engine. It could be. We're going much faster than you would typically go taxiing, but Roger KMX seems fine. Ray we already did continue taxing. It's, it's amazing, this is surprisingly similar to the jet in GTA, and so it tells me either they did a really good job simulating the jet in GTA, or they didn't do a very good job simulating this one, and it's nerfed. Um, I suspect it's much more likely to be the first one, because I know this plane's been in development for a long time. People wouldn't have, you know, gone along with it if it wasn't accurate. So I think that the jet in GTA is probably just a, a well-done simulation. I mean, even the maneuvering on the ground feels the same. Okay, I don't see anybody around. I'm going to keep going. Sorry. I see traffic over here, so maybe I'll slow down as a precaution for them. Very busy at the airport today. Oh shoot, there's an airplane right there. Let me get out of the way. No, I'm violating the rules KMX and whatnot, but uh, I want to land my plane. Roger KMX and it's not a real airport. I would never do this at a real airport. It should probably look to the right, make sure I'm not going to bash into something. Okay. KMX retreat, hold position, caution, really? other Again? traffic. Really? <sighs> Wow. I guess that's probably actually um, super typical for a flag into a busy airport. So I shouldn't be frustrated. I just want to land. I just want to park. And I don't see any other traffic either. So we're going to just keep going. Not such a great day weather-wise. I guess it's at least it's dry. It's just you know, the real-time weather where I'm at, basically. Oh, I get it. These are mirrors, I think. Okay. I wasn't really sure what those were. There's a freeway, 880, off there in the background. <laughs> a 
Okay, the freeway shouldn't be crossing to the airport. That's odd. Um, hmm. Would not have expected that. Let's uh, let's see. Let's park and get the drone out and investigate. But this is definitely kind of weird. Uh, nope, this one. Showcase. Alright, so there's the traffic that comes into the airport. Um, maybe... Maybe it goes underneath this roadway or something? I don't know. But here's my plan. And people were driving across this way. In fact, there they are, right there. That it's kind of weird. Alright, well, anyway, what can you do? We'll just proceed forward. They'll have to stop for us, I guess. I don't know if they will. There's not really much I can do about the traffic. Cars are gonna just crash into me, I guess, if they if they do, they they do. And there's yet another southwest jet right in my way. They do seem to be turning. I still have not gotten anything from ground control over whether I can move forward or not. I wonder if it still wanted me to be waiting back there. We're just gonna go around. Okay, well I am. Roger KMX Ray Tree. I wonder if there is a hand built version of the Oakland Airport. That might be interesting. I'm not sure I'd really want to pay for it though. Okay, where is General Aviation Parking? This is crazy. Ooh, okay. I'm using my airplane. Unfortunately, the only this one livery, the tricolor livery, is available for the acrobatic version. The other military version had a whole bunch. Hold position again, okay. Hold position KMX Alright, the bus has passed. Oh no, there's other stuff coming too. Oh really? Okay. Roger KMX The game could use improving that logic a little bit, I think. Oh, the, p the uh, engine has actually stopped on its own. Okay, that's interesting. Not sure exactly why it stopped on its own. Okay, but anyway, I think I can turn stuff off. Uh, fuel, master ignition, batteries. There we go. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my Italian jet flight through the Bay Area. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.
Okay, the freeway shouldn't be crossing to the airport. That's odd. 